Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. Okay, so the creation that I'm going to show you today is part of a three series. So if you've seen my previous two videos, you'll see that I've used the same colour palette, but a different technique. So the first one that you saw was this one. And I did a swipe technique with this one. And then the second one that you saw was just a straight pour. And this is the creation that I made using that technique. So the technique that I'm going to do today is a basic flip cup. I'm going back to basics. I'm going back to where I started and I'm going to use the same colour palette and do a flip cup. And we'll just see how different each of those designs look. So this is about using the same colour palette different techniques, but creating something very unique and very different with each one. So let's see what we can create. I'm using a 12 by 12 inch canvas today. I've got all my colours here already mixed up because this is a series of three with the same colour palette. And I'm just gonna layer all those paints into the cup and then do the flip cup onto the canvas. So I'm ready for this, let's go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take each of my colours and I'm going to layer them up into my cup, one by one, on top of each other. And I'm hoping to get about three layers in this cup. Okay, so now the cup is full. I'm gonna put my canvas back on its stand. In fact, I'm gonna probably cheat because I'm going to lift the canvas up and place the cup easily on the, uh, on the canvas and do the flip cup like that. Or you probably see other people just go for it and slam their cup onto the canvas. But, you know, this is the way that I'm gonna do it today. I'm just gonna leave it for a, a few seconds the paint is all within that cup, it's not spilled out. So when I release that cup, all those colors are gonna flow out and they should be very different because of the way that I have layered the cup. So are we ready? Shall I just go for it and release all those beautiful colors out of the cup and see what kind of creation there is? Let's go. And there we go. Ooh. Not so much of the turquoise, a lot of the browns. Yeah, I really like that. So what I'm going to do is, obviously I know that I need to stretch it out. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let the paint settle for a minute. There are some air bubbles, so I'm going to get rid of those air bubbles and completely uh, pop those. Even though I made my paints up a while ago, there's still some air bubbles that I want to get rid of. So now I've got rid of those, I'm literally going to tilt. And once I start tilting, I will then get a better idea of where the paint actually is on the canvas and how I want the actual design to look. So I'm going to tilt over each edge first and then get an idea of the pattern itself and the colours that I want to keep within the centre point of the canvas. So as I'm tilting, there are certain areas that I don't necessarily like as much. So this block of colour here, I think I'm going to pull that right off the canvas because there's more interest in the other side of the canvas where I've got some more of the colours. So I'm going to tilt that completely off. Let's get rid of that block of colour. OK, that does open up another block of colour. It's not so bad, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work my way around the canvas and tilt off each edge first. And then once I've tilted, I will see what kind of pattern I've still got on the main part of the canvas. I'm bringing the paint back into the center each time I tilt, just so I can allow it to stretch out. So you'll see there that I've just got rid of the other block of color. And when you look at it overall, okay, this isn't finished, but it's more interesting. And I think it looks a lot more interesting. So, I work my way around the canvas, I pick it up and I tilt. 
I put it back down because what I want to do is I want to have a real good look at that composition. I want to have a look at the pattern that it's creating on top. Obviously with the flip cup, all the colors are interlinked and mixed together, but you can still see some of those colors that are very distinguished. From what I can see so far, there's not so much of that turquoise, but that turquoise area is gorgeous and I don't want to lose that. So I'm going to just tilt off the other edges. And then after tilting, I just kind of step back and look at the composition and the pattern. And then I decide if there's certain areas that I want to keep or certain areas that I just want to tip off. And it's at this stage that I really look at that overall design and tweak whatever I need to tweak. Okay, so here's the close-up of the wet version. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I love some of those details. And where that turquoise is, it's almost like I could jump in because it, it really looks like there's some depth in that area. I'll let this dry and I'll take you in for a close-up and show you the dried result. Okay, so here's the dried version. Very different to the others. And what I'm going to do shortly is I will line them all up together so you can see. But I can definitely see more of the silver in this. There's a lot less blue, a lot less of the turquoise that's shimmering through. And more of the browns and the sienna colours. But yeah, the flip cup worked really well and I absolutely love it. And when I put them all together, you'll see how different each of the creations are using the same colour palette, but different techniques. And here they all are lined up together. So this was the first one with the swipe. I went on a larger canvas for the straight pour and then for the flip cup. So exactly the same colour palette but very different creations depending on the technique that was used. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what we can create with different techniques but the same colours. And what's your favourite? I'd love to know which one you like the best. I think this one's my favourite with the swipe, mainly because of the the different details and I've got the balance of block colour and lacing. But the other two are just as nice, but that's definitely my favourite one. Let me know in the comments below. Have a great week everyone and hope to see you again soon. Take care, bye.